as your guys' first takes, tell me your flat out on honest opinion about kick. Okay, for me personally, first things first is the good. Um, 95.5, which is, cr sub split is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. 50-50 Twitch sub split is an absolute scam. Like, long story short, anyway, for me personally, was trying to get for the longest time 70-30 on Twitch. And again, kick uh, is again, a little bit of a sketchy area. But if Facebook or YouTube or let's say TikTok starts a site and they're like, yo, Joe, sign for a bag. Come on over. I would sign it in a heartbeat. And people could say, sell out, sell out. The reason that I say that is because I had people telling me from Twitch, Joe, we don't do 70-30 anymore. And I'm not trying to be like, wow, I should have this. But I had friends of mine that were getting new contracts for 70-30. And I am still and was still on 50-50 being told they don't do that anymore. Which again, and I'm not saying look at my numbers. Wow, wow, wow. But I had friends with less followers, less viewers, and less subs than me that were getting 70-30. And then imagine the income that could have helped me long term over 70-30, not 50-50 over peak warzone times of 16k subs 17k subs 18k subs 12k 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 50 imagine that income over the three year span of of streaming that really bothers me a lot the other thing is the and like i say for kick i mean 95 5 sub split is absolutely i mean that's insane the problem is how sustainable is that the problem for me personally is they're owned by by a gambling site founded by basically gambling i don't give a crap if people stream gambling if they do slots on stream if they do, whatever they do stream whatever you want to stream go crazy literally go crazy stream you gambling that's not your job to teach parents and kids about gambling there is a button that says this streamer has said that that you should be 18 in order to watch the stream and you have to click start watching so that's not their job to like teach the parents right i say that as a negative because i would rather back my paychecks in amazon over gambling sites and companies that 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 do gambling knowing that my check is coming from amazon twitch who is owned by amazon rather than gambling and the other amazing thing too is this there's no ads. So you could be a sub, non-sub. You could be a lurker. There's no ads, which is like, that's crazy. The weird part is on the other side of it, right? A lot of people are like, yo, but it's been like profitable. Like it's been super profitable. Like it's prof like because of sponsors that they're getting on their website though. So long-term, let's say I'm assuming that's going to be like steak or somebody, right? Is the sole sponsor of the platform. So if they're pumping in all of this money, I just can't see as a brand that's trying to sponsor a platform like kick you letting other competitors of yours live on the site. Cause if you drop in 500 million, 100 million, however much to a site, I would assume that you want only your logo on that site and platform with no competition. But if let's say that all of these brands start to sponsor the site and the streamers that are on stake, or on stake, on kick, that are competitors of the companies that are sponsoring the platform kick, I have a feeling that they aren't going to like that there's streamers that are promoting their own personal sponsors. And then also the companies that are paying kick to sponsor aren't are going to be like, yo, why are we even sponsoring this when there's most of the creators have the brands that are our competitors on their platform and site and stream. Biggest thing for kick is that they, that they actually care and listen and the owners and high ups actually go into streams and give subs and more. I mean, I agree, but also like that's take that with a little bit of a grain of salt. Cause obviously as a platform, what they can do is say that they're, you know, like supporting their creators, going to give subs, and it's literally just free advertisement, a write-off for them and be like, we support our creators and it costs them 0.00. It's, it's a zero on a check that they don't even see. In my opinion, very ratty. In my opinion, if, if any companies try to gift subs on any platform, uh, in my opinion, that's ratty because they know that you then are going to thank them. People are going to be excited like Cash App for a long time and they stopped doing it. But Cash App would gift subs and be like, yo, here's a hundred gifted. Mind you, that's nothing for them. During like peak war zone at the times that I had like 5k, like like during like peak tournaments and all that, and they're gifting subs. Here's a hundred gifted, here's 50 gifted. They would usually 
be paying the streamer that has 5K viewers, sponsored time, sponsored segments, hashtag ads, all that. That's very ratty and super predatory to be like, yo, here's gifted subs. It's not like that. People think it's cool, but it's a way around as a company that's like, we don't have to pay them the normal rate that they should be getting paid and the normal pay that creators are getting paid. We don't have to, you know, go through legal, go through their agencies, go through contracts like you should. And we're just gonna go gift them subs and it's their marketing, which is just super ratty and super predatory to be like, here's some money, here's some gifted. And then everybody's excited about it. Like it, 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 it's not good. That's not a good thing. Basically the whole story of this was, I found out in my contract on Twitch because I'm not a like signed creator on Twitch at all. Like a lot of the Twitch partners that are like big are like Twitch exclusive creators. So they get like, you know, certain perks of salary, 70, 30, all that kind of stuff. They can't go anywhere. Well, with mine, as long as I'm not multi-streaming, I can stream wherever. So if I do five hours on Twitch, I could do five hours on YouTube, five hours on Kick, five hours on TikTok. I can do anything. Um, and I've been debating it. I'm like, yo, is it smarter to do like five hours on Twitch five hours on kick, there's no ads on kick and 95, five sub split. I'm like, I'm kind of debating it because I feel like also there's not a massive, massive COD presence on kick either. And also the, 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 the like, crazy thing is there's literally, there's no ads. I think that's amazing. I hate when like, I c literally click on a stream, eight ads, Joe, yo, what's good. I'm like, yo, what's up, man. And you don't even have a t chance to hear me say something because Eight ads. I'm kind of thinking about it. Danny said, I want to see Joe take all platforms by storm. Danny, I'm trying to see you take off my clothes by storm. Sorry, what? Sorry, what? I mean, I mean, also, I feel like those people that say that anyway, like, dude, you're selling out for the bag. Like, the people that say that don't really understand. Like, I have staff to pay, people to play, pay, bills to pay. Like, for those people that's like, yo, you're selling out. Like, this is every creator. They don't understand. Like, this is your business. This is your job. Like, whether they like try to like fake it or not, like this is your job. This is your business, this is your brand, this is your life. Like I feel like you would be a fool to an extent to not do things, right? Haley, you could say of, of all people also, from a brand perspective, how is your space um, kind of seeing other sites as a platform like Kick? They see it as like, oh, it's, kind of risky or uh, or they see it as like oh who knows oh we're not touching kick we're not touching kick with the 10 foot pole i yeah i've i've heard that from a lot of people actually and that's the scary part that's that's the scary part right so do you go to kick and then do you not have any brands or sponsors because you're on kick for the sub split or do you stay on twitch ads are getting ran you can have your like normal brands and sponsors or do you do half and half or sometime on Twitch, sometime on Kick? Because like, I kind of thought like, okay, say I kept COD on Twitch and then on Kick, I had like a, like Joe podcast or like a Joe only just chatting on Kick or something like that. Um, that's not like any gameplay. Yeah, but imagine almost 5,500 subs at a 95.5 switch. Sponsors probably wouldn't be a problem in the best way Best way I can say this, brands and sponsors, and I love them, pay more than a sub split, thankfully, thankfully. If you're, if you're genuine and you actually like a brand and like actually support them, they pay well, more than a sub split. And also the great thing too is sometimes they're like longer term deals, which means that you can do things that you would like to do, whether that means, um, you know, try, like something new, like a podcast. Like you know that with this brand, you're could be paid this much money for a year. If you change sites for a sub split, you don't know what that site is doing. Subs can be up and down, obviously, right? And then obviously like long-term, if you have a brand, they are gonna be paying you for a year or two years or three years, a set amount of money and you have that. And I think that that, in my opinion, is a way, way, way safer route than trying to change platforms for a sub split in general. The kind of side I don't like is, I've seen a lot of people, and, and again, I don't know if I would ever be like changing to try out Kick YouTube, because I can now, I had no idea 
had I could. So now I'm like, we could do, like I said, five hours on Twitch, six hours on Twitch, three hours on Kick, three hours on YouTube, three hours on Facebook, three hours on Kick, like anything. I hate those people that just hate on something because it's new. Like, oh, people are just going over there for the sub money. Like that's not even like, that's how I, myself, and a lot of streamers get paid from your guys' support, from your guys' generosity solely that is how a lot of streamers pay their bills myself included when a lot of people are like yeah they're just selling out for the bag they're yeah, like, people pay bills by subs like <laughs> yeah that's not sustainable like how do you think a lot of people myself included has got by for the last three to four years because of subscribers like you guys so seeing like a lot of people say like selling out like they just don't understand like they just don't understand and it's like so annoying to see people say that they're like well, what and either way they're not supporters anyway, so it doesn't even matter. But like, it's I, I hate that narrative of like, how many streamers actually make money from subscribers? Every streamer ever. Like I said, I don't give a crap what people stream. They could be streaming in the hot tub. They could be streaming slots. They could be streaming gambling. All of that. That is not the, that is not the main bother for me. Like everybody else like, dude, people are gambling over there. Like whatever. On their stream, it says, yo, if you are not 18 or older, do not watch the stream. If you are, click start watching. And that's not your job. That's the parent's job, right? That's not your job. If a kid clicks that they are 18 or older and they're not, that's not your job. The thing that scares me is the website is owned by gambling companies. So my paychecks, I feel way more comfortable coming from Twitch, aka Amazon, rather than, yo, you're getting paid from stake. Even though it's not from stake, right? It's probably from like a like normal whoever Zelle or like whoever like payment place. The company itself, kick it, the platform is owned by soon to be sponsors, which again gets super weary because if I'm a sponsor, Haley, correct me if I'm wrong, okay, right? I heard that because you're of all people definitely would, you're the boss of a Fortune 500 company, all right? If you're a Fortune 500 company and you pay a company a hundred million dollars like kick and you say, hey, put our logos and ads and all that on your site. And that's how they're profitable, which they've been profitable from certain sponsors apparently, right? So let's say the largest creators on that platform have your competitors, sponsors on their stream. So you as a company just paid a site $100 million to promote them, but then the creators on that site are sponsored by other people and that's your main competitors that's then on their streams on the front page. As a brand, I would say, yeah, give me back my 100 mil, I'll take that somewhere else. And maybe I'm wrong, but they would be foolish to pay that and have their brand on a site. Everybody that's actually on the platform isn't even using them and or showing off their competitors' brands. But Shane, but the thing is, I get it. I'm glad that there's a lot of, of, of you know, Twitch streamers that do stream on Twitch and on TikTok. But technically, you're not allowed to. And you could get banned. So I don't want to give Twitch any reason to ban me. I, I don't, don't, don't want that to be any reason. And I've heard other people that's like, no, people are going to kick. Brands are going to kick. And I'm like, no, they're not. There is some companies that are. And I'm glad they are, but I, the companies that I know, that I've heard of, are like, heck no. But yeah, I don't know. Thoughts? Good convos. I appreciate you guys.